Inferior to the hyoid bone is the thyroid cartilage, which we can now see highlighted in green. It's the largest of the cartilages in this region. This cartilage is a major component of the larynx, forming the laryngeal prominence. Also part of the larynx is the cricoid cartilage. This cartilage is inferior to the thyroid cartilage, as we can see in this nicely popped out image. The cricoid cartilage is the only laryngeal cartilage that is a complete ring. Though you can't see it in this image, the cricoid is shaped like a signet ring, with the flat signet part facing posteriorly, like this image. In fact, you could slip the cricoid cartilage on as jewellery as it fits the average finger. Moving inferior still, we next come across the superior part of the trachea, which is of course the tube through which we breathe air, and we can see its cartilage highlighted in green now. This will continue inferiorly and bifurcate into the two main bronchi. If we swap directions and look superior to the hyoid, we can see part of another cartilage projecting superiorly. This is the tip of the epiglottis, which is the cartilaginous structure that covers the glottis when swallowing. And that wraps up the cartilaginous structures. We'll now look at a membrane and a couple of ligaments in the area. Attached to the inferior border of the hyoid bone is the structure we can now see highlighted in green. This membrane attaches the hyoid bone to the thyroid cartilage, so is appropriately named the thyrohyoid membrane. Now on the inferior aspect of the thyroid cartilage is a ligament that runs inferiorly to the cricoid cartilage. As it's in the midline, it's called the median cricothyroid ligament. Let's go back now to our lateral image of some of the structures of the neck. In this image, we'll find a ligament that helps to suspend the hyoid bone within the neck. This is the stylohyoid ligament, drawn in a green highlight along the anterior aspect of the stylohyoid muscle, again, nicely named for its attachment points. It runs from the styloid process of the temporal bone to the lesser horn of the hyoid bone. As you can see, the stylohyoid ligament runs along the stylohyoid muscle and has the same attachments. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.